it's a surprise to me even now, or it would have been a shock to me 12 years ago if someone had told me that early music meant 20th century music. I arrived with, with one classical instrument, for me, that represented early music, and 12 years later I never would have imagined that I would have to acquire so many instruments that represent each each period of, of, of music, each each genre, each country, so on. That means uh, almost 30 clarinets, <laughs> which is a lot of maintenance, <laughs> but it also means mm, many different and rich experiences. The old instruments, um, they kind of tell you how, how the music wants to be played, so therefore it can help with, for example, learning the Mozart concerto on modern clarinet. If you've had the experience or the sensation of it on, a, on, a, on an instrument that Mozart would have known, then your, your, your grammar or the ideas of phrasing can, can really translate in, 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 into the, the way to interpret it on modern as well. This is the, the earliest form of, of clarinet that we, we have. It's called a chalubal. It looks like a very simple whistle or recorder, but in fact um, it has a single reed like the clarinet, and then a body that resembles the recorder, however with two keys. And so this, this is a copy of an instrument from Nuremberg, I believe, from the beginning of the 18th century. Here we have a, a basset clarinet. This is a copy of a, of a basset clarinet made by my clarinet maker here in Paris. I commissioned the instrument because I was asked to play the Concerto of Mozart uh, when was it, two years ago in the Théâtre des Champs-Élysées here in Paris. This is the instrument that we would play, of course, all the music of Brahms. A bit later as well, um, I would play Bruckner, Mahler and so on on this instrument. It's basically a very early form of the modern German clarinet. One of the most noticeable changes, perhaps, for me, between playing Bruckner with a modern orchestra or playing with um, an orchestra where we have these earlier instruments, would be the brass section. The, 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 the trombones and trumpets, the instruments were different enough because of the, the size of the bore and so, that they, they don't need to be forced. It, it's, a, it's almost a sweet sound. And because of that, there's, it's, mu it's slightly easier, to, I think, to achieve a, a natural balance. In, in Australia, we, we all play modern French instruments, which started from this and ended up almost like this. This is a, a very early modern French clarinet, it's from 1900. On this instrument I would play um, Ravel, Debussy. Last year I did a production of Debussy's Pelias and Melisande with a conductor called Sir John Elliot Gardner and his orchestra, English orchestra in fact, called Orchestre Révolutionnaire et Romantique. And we, we played that production in the Opera Comique in Paris, which was very exciting because that's where the work was first premiered. So we had the exact instruments in the exact conditions, which makes it even more authentic. To do early music represents a very particular way of life as well. It's a bit of a lifestyle because we're all freelancing and we're all moving around a lot. There's no, there's no real fixed orchestra where you have a, a salary and um, you know, a full-time post, which I think is a very beautiful thing because it means a huge exchange between people and between ideas and between interpretations. So you're always nourished by different, but from diff many different angles. And at the moment I'm playing a Mozart opera and then next week jumping to some Beethoven symphonies, but at a different pitch. So that means, you know, trying to prepare for something on a different instrument and already putting half the hat on before you <laughs> before you get there. But it can be even more, I mean, the jump can be even bigger. It could perhaps play a Bruckner symphony and then the next week you have to play some Mozart chamber music. So it's always changing.